move cars again because my buddy has a TE72 Corolla that I'm going to be doing a battery relocation kit and I'm also going to be installing a new carburetor and so I have to move my starter out the way I'm going to move my 510 forward I'm going to be working on this car next I'm going to get this thing back as a daily driver I mean she's I mean hopefully she started having I haven't started in a little while but um she should be able to start run see I want to fix all this fix all this I want to fix some of the wiring the interior I want to redo so I want to move this one forward so I can start working on this one next uh but yeah oh let me show you his T's his TE looks pretty dope he actually got this from me. I want to say two years ago he got this from me. It's got MR2 seats, silica wheels. That's next. All right, we are in the Datsun right now. Let's see. Never fails me. Ever. She always starts. Alright, we're gonna warm up. Just a fan. Check the tire pressure so we're kinda low. Warm out for a while, move her, and then we'll put the RX2 back there. Actually, we'll put this one over there, get the Corolla out, and then we can put the pickup, the RX2, and everything else out here and cover it up. And I gotta clean this mess. So, I went to move it, and I have no clutch pressure whatsoever. So, I'm not gonna be moving this one after all. She wanted to go for a quick ride. Uh, I may have to, yep. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to put this one in sooner. So I'll just get the Corolla done quick as possible and then put this one in so I can start working on it. All right, so I'm in the starlet right now. And this one should start, no problem. So I opened the engine bed of the Datsun and looking down in there and it's dry. That explains why my clutch doesn't work. Alright, let's get some fluid in there. Okay, long story short, my wifey helped me bleed the clutch on that one. That's good to go. Uh, my phone died so I didn't have any battery to record. So right now the plan is to oh shoot oh yeah I gotta get the RX2 keys so I can get out the garage and then I can put the 510 in there and everything else is gonna go right back in here so this one just haven't driven it in a while um, so this is the thing about this car Let's just I got too many damn projects. So it's got the stock 4KC engine, which is a 1.3 liter engine on the KP61. The, the carburetors, as you can see, they're they're, they're not ITVs. It's, it's actually a carburetor from motorcycle, which what do you think about it? I guess they are ITVs. Um, but they're from, they're from a 96 900 RR bike. Works great, but the second you stop using it, it starts leaking from every seal possible. From these holes, from the uh, O-rings that go in between here, from the ring up here, from the float here. Like, if you don't drive these things often, these carburetors go to crap. I think I've rebuilt it every time I don't use it for more than a month. I have to pull this carb out and redo it again. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Runs good, runs great. You actually get more power out of it, but... 
that the household is not worth it because I don't daily, I don't daily this thing. This is, uh, it's my baby, one of my babies, so I don't, I don't really like daily in this one. Uh, another thing that I have to change is this radiator. It is an S2000 aluminum radiator, and it is too damn big for the car. It is so big that it takes, I don't even have the fan hooked up right now with the temp sensor. I have it disconnected so the fans won't, won't turn on. And even though they don't turn on, this thing, the, the needle still stays below the sea level at all times. doesn't matter how long it's been sitting outside if I'm driving and running it, which makes the heater not work. And the heater on this thing used to work flawlessly. So I'm going to change this probably to a Honda Civic aluminum radiator. Uh, and then go down to one fan versus having two fans here. Uh, that's what's next for this one. But for right now, I'm just going to move it, put it back inside because I'm not, I'm not going to touch this one yet. Yep, you can go for a little ride. <laughs> uh. You want to get in? Yeah. Uh, so this one's next. Is the, is the passenger seat uncomfortable? Uh, I don't think it matters, Mama. We're going down. We're just going to park it. Want to hold the camera for me? Yeah. Want to tell them what we're doing? Um, we're moving the car right now. We're moving the car. Keep it steady. Alright, so, so... I'm with my daughter, Liana. We're going to move the car. <laughs> we're moving the car to the uh, driveway. The web. Yeah. Alright, pick up snacks. You want in the back? Yep. Alright. I don't know where she's at. Oh, she's back there. <laughs> the what? Hear my pipe. Oh, I can actually get closer. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> I'm back in. Now she lost the keys to all the cars. I gave her the key channel, the keys, and so now we can't find it. So we're stuck inside the pickup. Oh. Well, did you get them? No. It's open, Mama. Yeah, you're right. You got them? Yeah. All right, don't lose them again. What? You? What? No. <laughs> oh, stop. What are we moving? The 510? Let's move it. I don't, I don't, I don't know your 
Hey, so what's that? It's a piston. What do you do with pistons? You throw them away. That's right. But why do you have the piston? Because the Volvo has a piston engine. Well, why do you have the Volvo? Because I like the Volvo. I don't like the Volvo as a piston. Uh, well, that's just for now. Guess what we're doing later to it? Coming to a rotary? That's right. We're yes! going to put a rotary in it. Throw the piston away. <laughs> All right, so we decided to put the Miata in the side of the house because next time we use her, it's going to be in seven stock. And I realized that when I put the car cover, I put it upside down. And the dirty part went into the car and the clean part was outside. Sorry, babe. Before we take her inside... Oh, you need more holes? Jesus, hold on. Hold on, I almost fell. Go ahead. Did it get you? <laughs> You just got me wet. <laughs> Stop, I got the phone. All right, so let's fast forward. So most of the cars are put, they already put away. The Volvo's staying here. My roommate's future is staying out here. That is his car, which we got to figure out how come it won't start. After we do that, we'll put the carburetor and the battery location kit. And right now I'm watching the 510 so she can sleep inside. But before that happens, I'm waiting on my buddy, Ivan, and his uh, wife, uh, Janet, to show up with their Starlet KP61. Because they're having a little issue tuning it. So we're going to twist some branches in a little while. Until then, I'm just going to continue washing these things so we'll be ready for tonight. This is the final product, RX-7 in the garage, that's going to be in the garage. Rolla will stay outside for the night, so tomorrow I can get to it so I can start working on it since it got too late. And then we'll, oh shoot, my flex is on the other side of the house. Yep, I gotta, still got to bring my flex over here and park it in front of the Fusion. And I'm still waiting on uh, Ivan to show up with his uh, Starlet. So we can tune the car. I guess I'll call it a day. Um, I'll just do Ivan's car in a separate video. Uh, and then I'll just post it later. Alright guys, have a good night.